Here with UIC head cross country coach Ashley Lucas is the fighters prepared to head down to Peoria tomorrow for the penultimate meet of the, the regular season. But before we look ahead, I'd like to go back to the uh, meet, the Loyola Lakefront Invitational a couple weeks ago, and just kind of get your overall thoughts and impressions on, you know, kind of one, how the teams did, and two, what it was like to finally kind of have a meet in your own backyard. Yeah, well, first off, it was awesome just going about 20 minutes away from here. Um, the kids were like, wow, we're, we're already home. Like, it was, so it was kind of nice just to be in your own backyard. We train out there a lot. So just being in a familiar territory, I think, just kind of like calmed the athletes down and they weren't as nervous for the meet. Um, so it was a big meet and they knew they had to get out and they did just that. Uh, so we had a lot of personal bests, which as a coach, you can't really ask much for, um, much more for. So it was a great day having family friends out there and it was a good checkpoint for us. Um, unfortunately, we lost out to some Horizon Lake schools, but it was very, very close. And we were kind of under the weather on both sides, so it gave us a good checkpoint going into Bradley this week, and then conference in a couple of weeks. You know, I know we were we were talking the other day about you know a lot of midterms, a lot of stuff on on our student athletes' plates uh, mm -hmm. in the classroom this week. How do you how do you help them balance the the need to get that stuff done as well yeah. as the need to get the the training done to prepare for competition? Yeah, I mean the the perks with our sport is you can get a lot done not together. Um, so. When Monday came around this past week, I could just tell that everybody was kind of dragging. And we had a long weekend with um, practice Saturday, and then we helped work out work at the Chicago Marathon. So the workouts just weren't quite there. So Tuesday, we were like, get your runs in on your own time. Uh, they still all kind of grouped up together and got done what they needed to. But a lot of it is, especially at this point in the season, it's more about rest than it is about getting work done. So. Um, I, I would like to think I can read body language very well and when I can just see they have like a thousand pounds on their shoulders knowing they have five exams, sometimes it's just better to be able to, to get those runs in on your own time and, and not be in such a structure. Um, and, and they're pretty good at still checking in with me and being like, hey, just got my run done. Um, and I trust them to do that. So this week was kind of just a, a low key week for us on our non-workout days and I think that's going to bode well for them and then they're going to feel a thousand pounds come off their shoulders on Friday when their exams are over. And then looking ahead to this meet of Bradley, I know this is another one with quite a few teams in the field. Mm -hmm. um, another one that you're familiar with though, you kind of got, you guys go down there frequently. Yep. So what are you expecting to see um, in the meet on Friday? Yeah, I mean it's another huge meet. I think, I feel like it's bigger, it gets bigger and bigger every year. So I think there's 35 men's teams and 37 women's teams uh, and there's going to be I think at least three other Horizon League schools so again it's just putting ourselves in that opportunity to get better and to kind of gauge out where those Horizon League schools are it's it's harder in a big meet because you're not so concentrated on where those jerseys are because it's one just kind of hard to locate your own teammates so it's hard to be paying attention to other jerseys and what names on them, but just to kind of get one last hard race effort in before conference. And then uh, finally, this is kind of looking even further ahead to mm -hmm. the Rising Championship, which UIC is going to be hosting up at the University of Wisconsin Parkside in yep. a couple of weeks. Um, obviously not necessarily on campus, but it's a meet that, that a lot of people here are, right. are putting a lot into. And so what, what are you kind of hoping um, to see, you know, support wise for that meet? Yeah, well, we got, you know, a fan bus going up there. So we want to uh, get a lot of people up there. It's not a, a far drive at all. Great course. Um, so we just want as much, you know, student athlete support and flame support in general. And we'll have a lot of family and friends up there. So the more the team hears UIC, the better, because it really, it really makes a difference. And they even said that at Loyola, having a lot of our fan supports go down to that meet, they could just tell in the crowd. And they're like, you know, when I was starting to give up, you just hear go UIC or go Flames, and it just kept them in it. So to have that kind of home advantage will be huge for us to accomplish the goals that we have at the conference meet.